That's interesting. Because I wonder if we're going to actually get maybe a million years out of this thing. Look at all of these freaking achievements. This is nuts. What is going on gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. I'm having a pretty decent one. It is midnight yet again, yet again. We are back on Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. I'm going to do this episode a little bit differently. I've already kind of already done the episode. Um, I've also made a decision. We are going to move on. We are going to do an evolution today and... Basically what I've decided to do is I've already gone through taken the time and if I hit E and use our senses as you can see I have opened up a lot of different location discoveries um, I'm going to show you those location discoveries in a minute uh, But I just want to let you guys know I've already kind of done the video um, I'm just going to kind of do it in reverse order. I've already done it, but now I'm doing the introduction So here's what I've decided to do. I want to keep those two dexterity mutations in our gene pool, gene pool, our gene pool, plain and simple, okay? Uh, so what I've decided we're gonna do is, we had six reinforcements left over after we did our last, um, our last evolution. And I wanna go ahead and do a generation jump, and then I wanna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna show you the, the, the footage of the location discoveries that we've done, uh, there weren't too many incidents that happened. And then I want to go ahead and do another generation jump. Um, and then so we can have reinforcements when we get to our new area. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, do an evolutionary jump. It's not going to be a huge one, but we are going to go ahead and do that, do that today in this episode. So without further ado, here is the footage of us getting the location discoveries. We'll come back here and we'll go ahead and continue on after that is done. We'll see you guys in a minute. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are terrified, but guess what? We are almost to uh, the Conquer Your Fear, opening up a brand new world in our brand new camp area. I have opened it up and I'm trying to get over to that location right there. Uh, what is this right here? I, did I just see? I guess not. I thought I saw something that I could actually identify over here, but I guess not. So we're headed over that direction to get that location discovery. There's actually a couple that are around here. Uh, so let's move on and see if we can actually do it. It looks like there's actually one right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we finally made it here, and it is an absolutely beautiful, gorgeous place, but I'm going to let you guys know, this is actually the camping spot that I've been through in my own playthrough, and right below us is a tiger's den. Okay, you get t attacked every five minutes up here, and it sucks. This campsite sucks. It's interesting that we actually found it. We're going to go ahead and discover it right now. But that is definitely a place that you can actually hang out. It's a camp spot that you may end up going to. It's called Cascade Oasis, as you can see. Um, but it's a campsite that you may end up going to if you play the game enough and you do, you know, uh, an evolution from your first camping area. So let's go for the next one. The next location discovery. See how pretty this place is? It's pretty, but it's also very dangerous. Now, if that isn't the prettiest thing you've ever seen in a video game, that is our, our, our Milky Way, our galaxy. I believe we are actually at our secondary location. Hopefully, we're close enough to actually... Uh, no, we are not close enough to actually identify it. So I think I'm going to... Oh, awesome. See, this is what I like about this game. Not really, but is you 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 travel a whole far way. It's in the middle of the night. You're just about ready to get your discovery on. And then you have to get to the point where you have to open up another another area to do discoveries. I'm thinking that maybe there's only like two discoveries in each area. Once you find those two discoveries, you could probably just move on because that's really annoying. Um, I mean, I'm all the way over here and I can't do the discovery because now I have to open up another area that I'm afraid of. And that's kind of annoying, to be completely honest with you. I really don't think it... I really don't think it meshes with the game very well. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I decided to say screw it and go for it, just so we could get a little bit more of a of a evolution. We've just discovered another area, and I did it at night, and that kind of scared the living piss out of me. It really sucked. We were up there a minute ago. Um, I just decided, you know what, screw it. We're just going to come down. It shouldn't be too far away. Now, can we please discover this area? We can discover this area. I'm sorry this is all at night, but I'm trying to get as much done as I possibly can. This one is jungle lone kapok oasis now behind me i jump down to this area and i realize it's actually a really nice area i have a feeling that this is actually another area down here that could be a camping area um it's right over here as you can see it's right over here. It doesn't look too bad. I bet you this is probably another camping area. When you got a little lake like this, and you've got, you know, some food around it and stuff like that, I believe there is probably some food down here. Yeah, it looks like there's fishing spot over there um, and some food around here. This is actually a really good area, and it's probably another camping spot that when you do an evolution, it'll bring you here. More than likely, we'll probably end up coming here after we do this evolution. Okay, so I believe there's one more uh, discovery on the way back. We'll see you guys in a minute. Well, it looks like we got a little bit of a problem. We got a little bit of a tiger between us and our lookout. Uh, you know what? Let's just go for it. We need a little bit of experience when it comes down to this fighting stuff. So he's pissed off. Let's go for it. Come here, dude. No, come here. Boom, baby. Sit down. Where you going, boy? Get out of here. Switching over. See, this is what a tiger house looks like. It's just bones and bones and, 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 and straw, I guess you could say. This area over here is actually really pretty. Um, I'm actually all the way. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Not again, game. Seriously, I go that whole way and it's like it's right there. And then this crap shows up. I think we've pretty much uh, gotten all of the lookout points in our area. Um, I'm not excited that I'm now in pitch black when there's a freaking tiger around. But if you hit the... Yeah, see, there's one over there. There's a lookout over there. Supposedly there's a lookout right there, but that's actually probably beyond the... Beyond the I'm scared of everything this queen area or conquer your fear area so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head back to camp and we're gonna keep going on the episode we'll see you guys in a minute and we're back that was kind of a big pain in the butt ladies and gentlemen I'll, I'll admit it there was a lot of animals that i had to watch out for there was a ton of tigers i couldn't believe how many there were um i used a lot of sticks to stab tigers tigers i'm just saying so now that we're back at camp let's go ahead and show you guys what i'm talking about and i opened up a whole bunch of nodes like crazy amount so check this out we've got one matured neuron over here and this is detection of a sound source will be increased the range for detection of a detection of a sound speed of concentration on a sound um automatic identification of all threatening individuals we got one way over here uh automatic identification of all resources will be possible it will be possible to be protected against hemorrhages for a longer time so that's basically bleeding uh, uh medical stuff it will be possible to be shielded against injuries for a longer time we've got so many this one's actually connected to this one right here which is the food portion thing so the symptoms following the ingestion of a mushroom will be less severe and that's the thing though is we've got mushrooms by our base that are absolutely horrible they're brand new mushrooms i've never seen before but they're really really bad so we've got all of these open there's and we've got a ton of neur neural energy but there's no reason for us to really connect all of this stuff because we can't utilize our reinforcements so here's all our reinforcements right here i think what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to go ahead and do Probably the imitation ones, uh, clan members to mimic. Okay, so I needed to do this one, clan members to mimic. That one was already done. So there's two right there. What is this one over here? Uh, the preparation feeds for a counterattack. Definitely, yes. Dropping an item, yes, definitely. Okay, so we've got two more. Success rate of all alteration modes, yes, please. And then alteration using a tool is increased. 
Um, success rate of alteration without a tool. No, I want it, I want it with a tool. See, that's all we can do. Look at all of these nodes that we have opened up. Um, and that's just because I didn't want to do any generation jumps because we have these two nodes right here. One, this dexterity node here, and this dexterity node here. Uh, and I, that's why I'm doing all of this right now in this episode because I want to keep those. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do a generation jump, and that's going to activate these dexterity nodes. We're going to see exactly what they do, and then we're going. I'm going to go ahead and do more reinforcements. I'm going to connect a few things, and then we'll do another generation jump after that. But we really won't need to connect any of the reinforcements or any of the nodes, because once we do an evolutionary jump, even if we were to use the reinforcements on that, they don't stick, which I think is BS. I think that when you put reinforcements in and you do an evolutionary jump immediately without doing a genetic jump or a generation jump, then it, they should stay, but they don't. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that. We're going to do um, a generation jump and we're going to do a breeding. I'm going to get six more babies and I'm going to reconnect and do reinforcements again and we'll be on our way to the evolutionary stage. Oh, mutation. Uh, you, uh, we might as well just look right now. I've already done the freaking generation jump. We might as well just look at it right now. We're an old man. Look, genetic mutation again. Uh, what's going on? Something's messed up. I can't move. What's happening? Okay. Um, okay, low and the members of the lineage will have better hand-eye coordination when under attack. See, it helps to have dexterity when it comes down to attacks. And then this one is Balk and the members of the lineage will have better hand-eye coordination when under attack. So both of these are under attack. I thought there was going to be some attack mutations down here, but there's obviously not. So I'm going to go ahead and we've got, I'm going to have to breed. We got zero reinforcements. I'm going to have to breed, get six more, utilize those, and then we're on our way. Uh, as you can see, all of those other mutations we had before are all gone. All those nodes that we opened up, they're all gone. Oh, no, they're not gone. They are here. I just was in the wrong screen. All right, I'm going to breed, and we're going to be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Check this out. The breeding is done. Six more reinforcements, so check this out. We've got the two that were activated on the dexterity tree. Check this out. Uh, we just had a brand new baby with the third dexterity skill. Now... We've, I've, I've, I've got a ton of neural energy, and why have we got the ton of neural energy? Because I examined all of the, the dead relatives. That's all I did. It took me two minutes, literally, to examine all the dead relatives. So, stripping. We're going to go ahead and do the stripping node, and we're going to reinforce it. Stripping. All right, stripping is done. Okay. And then over here, which is this one, the success rate of an alteration without a tool. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Come on, baby. I think they could probably make this a little bit faster. That'd be one thing that I would like to see. Uh, okay, so what do we got next? We got sound awareness, or what is down here? Building. the uh, One less item will be needed to complete a construction. Eh, not really caring about that right now. Um... Okay, so mushrooms, I wouldn't mind being able to utilize mushrooms uh, as food. So we're going to go ahead and get some mushrooms as food. So what is that? That's three nodes that we've got opened up right now. And then symptoms following the ingestion of an egg. And what is this stuff? It will be possible to be shielded against poisoning for a long period of time. It will be possible to shield against injuries, um, protected against hemorrhages. And it will probably be shielded against energy uh, injuries. Um, I kind of, I think I kind of want these instead. So we've got two up there. I'm going to skip out this one and let that one go. And then I'm going to do probably these four down here because that'll help against any energy, in, in, any injuries, any poisonings, any anything. So we got one, two, three, four, and then five, six. That'll complete that. I'll go ahead and do all these. We'll reinforce these. I'm going to do another generation jump to activate the secondary dexterity. Um, the secondary disc, uh, the third dexterity node that we've just recently got with a brand new baby. I'm going to breed yet again, which is going to be craziness. Breeding actually takes a really long time, to be honest with you guys. Unless you've gotten... I've gotten kind of a, 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 a 
a system down for it. So let's go ahead and do another generation jump as of right now. We've got all of our reinforcements in. Um, it's a shame that we have to waste all of that. I probably should actually watch what I'm doing and then I can just... I can examine the elders later and only use exactly how much I need. Okay, so genetic mutation is activated. I want to see what this genetic mutation is going to give us. So this is the third one. So now if we do an evolution from this point, we'll have one, two, three dexterity. And what is this? The members of the lineage will be able to craft items with more precision. And it's not as good as the fighting ones, which I believe are all down here, but it's still pretty good. Okay, so again, breeding, more reinforcements, but I'm not going to put the reinforcements in because it doesn't matter. Actually, maybe I should do it as a demonstration because it does matter for a demonstration to show you guys that even if we use the reinforcements, if we don't do a generation skip first before the evolutionary jump, that the reinforcements won't stick around. I don't know. I'll decide when I'm ready to decide. And we're back. Everybody has been bred up. We got kids just everywhere. We're, let's go into our evolution. Okay. And I've gone ahead and done the neural thing again by examining old people. Uh, or dead old dead people. Uh, symptoms following the ingestion. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and connect all of the food stuff. I'm going to put in the reinforcements just to show you guys as a, as as a demonstration that if you do reinforcements just before an evolution that the reinforcements don't hold so you got to remember this because i'm doing these three right here for our food ingestion these are the ones i'd probably like the most um and it these stretch off or are an offshoot of this mutation right here which is our food mu mutation this mutation right here um, and then we're going to do so one, two, three. We're going to do this one over here. I don't remember what this one is, but this one's going to be a very long one. Holy crap. A very long one. Holy crap, that one took forever. But automatic identification of all resources is possible. That seems like it's a pretty good one. So we got those three. We got that one up there. And then what is this one? And then we got five right here. This is number five. And right after this, we'll go ahead and do our evolution. Now, I did get some more mutations. Um having more babies but I, I don't know if they're really I guess they could be pretty important but like this one over here we've got another intelligence that we're going to lose and we're going to lose a, con a communication one as well um, but we are going to gain three dexterity ones that should be really 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 cool hopefully uh, and I'm pretty excited about that okay so reinforcements one two three four five six okay so that's it we are ready to go we are ready to do a generation jump okay or an evolution so let's go ahead and do an evolution uh why is it not giving me the option oh it's e my bad e okay here we go so sinister arches twenty four thousand years uh, Eastern Green Mamba, 24,000 years. Eastern Green Mamba, killed it, 34,000 years. Mollusk food, which is basically snails. And then intimidated a giant warthog, 44,000 years, which we actually already did before. African Rock Python, intimidated, 34,000 years. See, we're not getting any plus 10,000 years on any of this stuff. So, obviously, I'm not very good with the game. <laughs> or, oh, there we go. Plus 10,000 year on the, 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 the fibers. There's another 10,000 years. Dead branches. We use I use those right off the bat. Um, made African uh, python kill a tiger. 
which that happened off camera. I'm sorry I didn't catch it, but it happened off camera just recently, uh, during this episode, in fact. So Little Swamp Site, 24,000 years, and Lineage's Neural Development, uh, early Phase 2, 34,000 years. Phase 3, 34,000 years. So now we're getting up into the 2s and 3s, maybe 4s. Maximize Neuronal Development, early Phase. That was... That was like a quest. That was a fulfillment thing, guys. I hadn't done one of those before. Interesting. So this is all the basalt stuff. We got a 10,000 year one on that. What are we at, man? 20... I didn't realize we actually did this much stuff, guys. I really didn't think we did this much stuff. Wait a minute, two rivers. That was in the last or that was in the last the last camp area. So it looks like it goes through and it adds in the past stuff that you've done already as well. That's interesting. Because I wonder if we're going to actually get maybe a million years out of this thing. Look at all of these freaking achievements. This is nuts. There's a plus 5,000 years on 15 clan members. 16 and 18 clan members. So you actually get 44,000 years. Territory dominance. Oh my gosh, that's a whole bunch of new stuff. That was from opening up new areas and overcoming our fears and stuff like that. This is a huge jump. I think this is going to be maybe over a million years, guys. I have no idea, but it is taking a long time to get through this. I might have to cut all of this out. This is crazy. 44,000 years for killing an African rock python. Holy crap, are we done yet? This is insane. It's been 10 minutes of evolutionary jumping. Okay, feet and years, 996,485 years. Ahead of time, 62,000 years. Fulfillment years, 55,000 years. Differential, 372,000. Evolutionary leap so far, 1,113,985 years. And we're not even done yet. Tiger killed us, minus 25,000 years. Thank you very much, Tiger, you dick. 18 births, 90,000 years. Oh my gosh. Differential, 470 or 37,500 years. Evolution leap so far, 1,178,985 years. Ladies and gentlemen, we went over a million freaking years, and I was trying to go through this campsite quickly. Okay, but we didn't skip to a different, a new species. Oh no. Oh no. You know what it did? It made us go backwards in camps. Remember that camp that I showed you guys just a second ago and said it's a very dangerous camp? It's a camp, but it's a very dangerous one. Yeah, that's where we're at right now. We're going to be attacked constantly over here on this side, from this side over here by tigers left and right all day long. This is not a good camp. I am not excited about this camp area. Um, okay, right off the bat, we need to make a bed. Where's a bed? Bed stuff and things. Need to make a bed so we can go ahead and see exactly what's going on over here. I'm wondering if maybe I should move the entire troop like over here. Like I said before, this is a beautiful area. We're just, we're literally, our other base is right over there. It's just on the other side of the cliffs. That's it. So this is not a good area. I'm just wondering if maybe we should move our entire troop right, right over here. Um, for when the tigers come, because the tigers will come. I'm just letting you guys know the tigers will come. But I also like making the bed right over here. And you're in the way, fatty. Get out of the way. Pound in the button. 
All right. Build a sleep spot at least five times. There's another thing that you guys could do. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our evolution. Fewer hits are required to successfully craft an item. Very cool. The probability of inflicting a lethal blow are increased. That's going to be good for fighting. Probability of inflicting a lethal blow are increased a secondary time. We got stuff bouncing around all over the place. Now, remember those four? Yeah. See? One, two, three. This one out here was one of them. And then these two were one. So it doesn't actually keep your reinforcements. Unfortunately. Uh, which sucks. But we did get the dexterity stuff up and running. So the probabilities of inflicting a lethal blow are increased. The probabilities of inflicting a lethal blow are increased. The fewer hits are required to successfully craft items. So we got those two bad boys going. And it looks like we've got a brand new... We got Omnivore. We've got a baby in our group right now that has an Omnivore mutation. That's insane. What is this over here? Dexterity. We got a brand new Dexterity one too? Oh my gosh, they're all over. They just keep popping up. Holy crap, that's insane, guys. I'm actually really excited about that. Uh, the Omnivore I'm, ex I'm excited about, but I don't know how long we're going to stay here. I'm going to try and get out of here as quick as possible. I do not like this camp location. Um, I'm going to show you why, too. No, I'm not trying to climb these little tiny boulders that we shouldn't be climbing. Over here. Let's do this real quick. Nope. 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 Yep. Alright, so over here... There's gonna be... What are you doing over here, knucklehead? I don't think... Is this one part of our troop? Yeah, this idiot's part of our troop. Why is he really over here? Okay, so over here, there's this, this walk-up area, right? And if you look over the walk-up area, down below down here is a whole bunch of tiger's dens. Like, they're all over the place. Um, I think there's... You can't really focus in on them. I don't want to go over by them. What was that? You guys see that? Okay, so there's a mamba. But basically what they do is the tigers come up here, they come around the corner, and then they walk up through here, and they just attack us all day long. You know what I need to do? I need to start getting into, into these right here, but I don't know how to actually get into them. I know that I think you have to carry mult, be able to have the trait of carrying multiple items at once to be able to, to pick those and identify them and stuff. But I'm just not super excited about this 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 camping spot. I'm really not. It's like I said, it's one of the worst ones. We'll get attacked constantly by tigers. Um, so yeah, we've done a million. I, I was not expecting a million year, a million year um, evolutionary jump. That's insane. Because I really didn't feel like I did that much work. Before we did it, we only did one episode. You know what I'm saying? And uh, sometimes you get uh, tigers that come up this this cliff right here. I don't know how they magically come up the cliff, but they they end up doing it. So if you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't know, hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out, guys. I really appreciate it. Keep gaming. Keep doing it midnight. Have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. And bye bye. See, look at that. We're right by another area that. Right there. Not there. Over there. That we've already discovered. We might have to do another quick evolutionary jump just to get the hell out of here. I don't know. We'll find out.